Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to speak about a class of herbs called bitters. Now I've been quite big on bitters lately. Um, I say lately, but it's been about a week or a few days. But yeah, I think they're so important and I'm gonna tell you why. So bitters are any herb that contain a bitter principle. What is a bitter principle? It's basically a, a, a herbal constituent or chemical that makes a herb taste bitter. And there are mildly bitter herbs like um, dandelion, uh, chamomile, you may have tasted these before. But there are really, really bitter herbs which you may or may not have tasted before one being wormwood, another one being gentian, and these are really bitter herbs. The first time I tasted wormwood, like I, I, I drank it and then like, I, I don't know what happened. It was just so bitter and I had water, I had all sorts of things, but the bitterness just wouldn't leave my mouth. Like it could, I could feel it in my soul still. So yeah, you can imagine how bitter wormwood is. So in this day that we live in, we're all really used to sweet stuff. We all have um, a sweet tooth. We're um, used to having things like, you know, carbs, um, simple carbs and uh, sugars and processed foods. And we really like the taste of sweet stuff. So before we transition to having loads of sugar in our diet, we used to have lots more bitter stuff in our diets. And they were actually really beneficial for us. So you probably know that a lot of us suffer from digestive issues today. They're a lot more common than they were. So it could be something minor like bloating, but it could be really severe, like, you know, severe constipation. And I think a lot of that, well, not I think, a lot of that is due to the fact that we don't have these bitter things in our diet anymore. Why do bitters help with digestion? Okay, so when you taste something bitter, the bitter taste buds on your tongue um, are stimulated and this actually sends signals to your digestive system. Um, your digestive system starts to release more digestive juices, so your pancreas releases more enzymes, your um, liver um, releases more bile, and you know there's more movement and peristalsis happening in your digestive system. And that's beneficial, obviously, you can imagine, because it helps break down your food. So I'll tell you what, taste something bitter, as bitter as you can take, and immediately you'll notice your saliva began start producing saliva, your mouth will get really watery. And that's basically what's happening down below in your body. So when people suffer from uh, maybe bloating and wind, when they've got like uh, a lot of bad bacteria in their gut and uh, they're not breaking down their food properly, they're not assimilating their food, it can be because they're not digest they're simply not digesting their food properly. And we know that digestion is the key to life. We can eat all these healthy foods, but if they're not being broken down properly and assimilated into your blood, then yeah, they're gonna be useless. So we need to make sure we have um, proper digestion and great digestion. So when your food is being broken down properly, you'll suffer less from bloating and excess wind and maybe constipation. You'll feel more energetic because you're actually getting the nutrients from your food and your, you know, your body's not taxing itself to break down its food. Your liver's gonna be working better, which will improve your overall health because we know that your liver is your body's main detoxifying organ and detoxification is the key to good health. So, you know, ladies that might suffer from PMS or other issues related to imbalance and hormones, taking bitters and getting your liver to work better and clearing your bowels are really gonna to help to improve your hormonal um, balance in your body. So if you're not used to eating or drinking anything bitter, I would say probably start with your mildly bitter herbs like dandelion root or yellow dock, you know, make them into a tea, a decoction, and don't cheat, don't try and sweeten it or take it as a tablet because it only works if you actually taste the bitter, um, the bitter herb. So your taste buds actually have to taste it to give that reaction and send signals to your digestive system to start the whole process. So you have to taste it. But you start with mildly bitter and you work your way up and I promise it won't be so bad. And when you start drinking bitters daily or you know however often you want, you'll start to see that your your craving for sweet stuff will slowly start to decrease. And when you start having and when you have sweet stuff um, it will be too sweet for you, so you'll have less sugar than you do. I would recommend you speak to a practitioner before you start taking bitters though, because there are some conditions which they may be contraindicated in or um, may be unsafe to take them in. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, just put them down below and I'll try my best to answer them. Take care, bye.